As you can see, I have a few of acrylic paints. Um, the brand's called Polycolor. Um, Google it or, you know, I have no idea where you can buy it if you're living in the United States or other countries. I bought it here in the Netherlands at a nail supply store. Um, the Polycolor is very good quality. Famous artists are using them. It's a thick, um, you know, acrylic paint. Um, if you want to buy a cheap paint for nail art, it's okay, it's fine by me, but you will notice the acrylic paint will be too thin for, you know, a nice flower for the one stroke. Okay, so let me get these out of the way. I have 10 of them, by the way, but I guess you have seen that. And, okay, these are the cheapest brushes I have. These are from eBay. Um, I've bought them a while ago, you know, maybe years, I have no idea anymore, but I've got them for a long time. Um, I'm pretty sure you can buy them at eBay. Um, they have pink at uh, the end of the handles, um, you know, for uh, one stroke, detail work, um, liner brushes, fan brushes for gradient effects. You know, whatever you have to um, use for nail art. Good quality for a good price. Don't expect, you know, major good brushes if you only pay like, you know, maybe two dollars. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to show you a few brushes I got from Ukraine. I've never been to Ukraine, but I know someone who is from Ukraine and she bought it for me there. And bring it back to the Netherlands. And so here... As you can see, liner brushes, thin liner brushes. These ones are as well liner brushes and a fan brush again. These ones are thinner than this one. This one is kind of thick and this one as well, you know. I guess these are, you know, not that expensive. Well, maybe you can see them on eBay in little sets or whatever, I have no idea because I don't search them on eBay because I have these ones, obviously. Um, yeah, I like them very, very nice. Um, yeah, from Ukraine, you know, in total eight brushes. Good to use. Now I'm going to show you a brand which is kind of more expensive. Um, it's by Silver White. I have no idea if you can Google the brand or where you have to uh, buy the brand because I've bought it here as well. Um, let me get to this brush first. It's by the Da Vinci. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's um, 10 slash 0. Um, it's a very fine tip brush for detail work, you know, uh, fading uh, shadows. Good brush, comes in a container. This thing you can't get off the brush. It's probably for having a good weight on the brush, so it's not too light. So, good brush. And um, I got a cheap gel brush. It's number six. Why I got a cheap brush for gel is because if you have you know, these nails and you want to apply a background with paint, you have to use a gel brush or else it won't go that well. The brush will too, be too smooth and the paint won't, you know, stick to the nail. That's why I got the cheap nail uh, gel brush. And so, um, these ones are a famous brand. Good quality brushes, very nice tip, white and smooth. And they, they can apply one stroke um, extremely well. They are from Silver White. I have the numbers one, two, and four. Great to work with. The white, you know, um, ends on the handle. And yeah, if you like one stroke, you have to Google these if you can buy them anywhere. And I also have these ones, cheap ones as well. You know, this one is a striper. Or maybe if you like zebra prints or, you know, whatever you like to do, a Burberry print. And this one is a pointer as well for detail and fine nail art. I have also two dotting tools. They're kind of the same, so 
nothing special. You can find dotting tools on eBay as well for a good, you know, nice price. So let me get it out of the way. So the last two things I wanted to talk about are the nails. I have a bunch of nails, long nails. They have a well in them. I don't know if you can see it on camera. You can apply it, but I guess it won't fit on a person. Um, these nails are meant for, you know, if you like to do competitions, for nail art or, you know, um, just painting on them. They're very good for that. I like them very nice for painting like one stroke. You can, you know, create a whole thing or theme for flowers. Very nice. All sizes, large, thin. Again, Google or eBay is your friend. Nice tips. They come in stiletto forms as well as I know, but I don't have them. So the next thing is my mixing plate. You can use, um, you know, maybe a glass plate or baking paper, which is smooth, but I'm just using an old CD, which I don't use. It's just an old software CD. Um, I'm using this because I wanted to mix my paints for one stroke, you know, you dip the brush in the one paint and then in the other color and mixing the colors in the brush so the brush is loaded well. Um, cheap to use, great to use, you know, perfect for me. Um, yeah, that's about it. I hope everything was clear enough for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them. Uh, please be noticed that English isn't my mother language, so I hope you could understand everything and yeah, that's about it. I hope to make a video about one stroke and um, yeah. Okay, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.